Yeshua and his disciples parted from the Passover Seder. Later we find him in the garden, a place located near the Mount of Olives called Gethsemane. To get along with God in a peaceful vicinity, with intensity he hid his knees and prayed to the Lord. He was for sure the suffering that he would endure. While his disciples laid and slept, he prayed to sweat. Started mixing with blood from psychological stress. Skeptics suggest vessels explode and seems kind of bogus. Many don't know it's medically termed as hematridosis. A gradual effect that made fragile his flesh. It made his physique weak even before he was beat. Arrested and questioned, we find him in the synagogue. Sequestered to stand trial before the rabbinic law of the same hedron. Where they did stand, beat him and spit and strike him with their fists. His head beaten, the jolting of his brain caused a minor concussion, which resulted in temporary loss of brain function. Others slapped him while they asked him, prophesy, who hit you? Bruising his already weakened skin tissue. They sought the death penalty. The Pharisees were in no position to act on this decision. They needed Rome's permission. Now the race is on. The second trial is taking long. As he stood before Pilate, silent, it's now the break of dawn. Yeah. Listen, he was a victim of crucifixion. The most horrendous Roman invention. The infliction of pain for the them sustain, we will explain using medical diction. Fall from Michelangelo's depiction. He was brutally marred beyond recognition. His anatomy had to be scored for redemption. This is the crucifixion description. From Pilate, they sent him to Herod's jurisdiction. Then they sent him back to Pilate for the final conviction. To appease them, he had him beaten and flawed. From a medical perspective, tell us what was involved. Astonishing, unbelievable form of punishment. Its intent was meant to extract maximum suffering. They used the whip that consisted of nine leather thongs and metal balls that would tear into the man and fall. With every lash given it left, his muscles and his veins exposed underneath hanging rivers of flesh. Of 39 strikes, they weren't supposed to go over. Sometimes they did, depending on the mood of the soldier. Exposure from his shoulders to the back of his legs. Most victims at this point would start passing away. Needless to say, his blood pressure is starting to drop, his kidneys have stopped, his anatomy's going through shock, bodily fluids he's losing through the cuts and contusions, his blood volume is reducing while he becomes disillusioned, hard to believe he'd still be living, critical was his condition way before the nails were even driven, a bushel of thorns were found and formed into a crown which was placed above his face then shoved down, they mocked hell, king of the Jews, and started to laugh, they gave him a staff, placed a rope made of wool on his back, listen, he was a victim of crucifixion, the most horrendous Roman invention The infliction of pain that the victim sustained We will explain using medical diction Fall from Michelangelo's depiction He was brutally marred beyond recognition His anatomy had to be scored for redemption This is the crucifixion description Pilate gathers the masses and asketh They should kill Barabbas or Jesus of Nazareth Allow the crowd all agrees Set Barabbas the murderer free Crucifixion was what Yeshua was soon to receive. He hauled the crossbar for over a hundred yards. Fatigued and scarred. Destination, the place of the skull. The weight of the log is making him fall. So they seized the man from side ring that made him take up the cross. The angry mob has pulled the beer from his jaw. Vision blurred, speech slurred. The victim is starting to crawl. Reaching the end, he's put on his back. The soldiers have him pinned. Infection is setting into his skin. From this condition... First day of the week cometh Mary Magdalene early, when it was yet dark, unto the sepulchre, and seeth the stone taken away from the sepulchre. Then she runneth and cometh to Simon Peter, and to the other disciple, whom Jesus loved, and saith unto them, They have taken away the Lord out of the sepulchre, and we know not where they have laid him. Peter therefore went forth, and that other disciple, and came to the sepulchre. 
So they ran together, and the other disciple did outrun Peter, and came first to the sepulchre. And he stooped down, and looking in, saw the linen clothes lying, yet went he not in. Then cometh Simon Peter following him, and went into the sepulchre, and seeth the linen clothes lie. And the napkin that was about his head, not lying with the linen clothes, but wrapped together in a place by itself. Then went in also the other disciple, which came first to the sepulchre.